Yes, what's good? What's going on? What's good? What's going on? It's your boy Kim again. Thanks very much for giving me this opportunity. All right, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, I've been doing uh, a tutorials for color grading, color corrections, and uh, I used to make. Uh, I used to do color grading, DaVinci Resolve, but today I decided to come to Adobe Premiere to you know make some practice practicals right here in different way as we used to do okay in this videos i'm going to show you how to color glade and correction by using uh let me say three or four plugins i guess we can say four plugins uh first of all i'm going to use film converter to emulate my footage um, and then I'm going to use uh, Lumetric Color from Adobe Premiere and then I'm going to use uh, 3, 3D Lights Creator. If you know 3D Lights Creator, it's good plugins and it's, it's, a, it's like a program. I don't know what it is, but it's very good and nice. Um, it's for gliding and correcting, but... Uh, we we used to create lot if you know lot it's a lookup table so lookup table all the colors that we go do is going to be in premiere pro so what we go to do in red later we and then we we just drag into adobe premiere pro okay and the last we're going to use uh a magic bullet and you go see as a second uh, corrections you go see the all process I used to do this uh, before I started use DaVinci Re Resolve I used to to do color grading through these uh, this this ways okay let me start before wasting my time this is my footage if you have a uh, multiple um, uh, multiple uh, uh, mat mat clips you can add adjustment layer but me i have only one clip so it doesn't it's not necessary to to use um adjustment layer but you if you have a matte clip you can use adjustment layer right here you can click adjustment layer and then drag into here All right, uh, as you can see, we have we add adjustment layer there, and then now let's start in our job. Okay, the first thing that I go do here is um, using this plugin, a film emulation plugins film converter. As you can see, the footage is started to be changed right here. As you can see, it's a little bit changed. It emulates our footage as you can see this before this after it looking nice okay right here we have a camera settings as you can see we have camera settings so I'm going to choose uh, because I shot with the uh, I shot with the uh, Canon uh, 60D so I want to convert my footage from Canon to Panasonic GH2. I love this. I love this look. As you can see, we have a huge change. You see, we have a huge change. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Uh, you can you can download uh you you know this this uh camera setting this camera you you can download them so if you want to download any camera in here or if you want uh maybe F fuji film you can download or if you want uh red you can download it so if you're going to apply it, it's going to tell you a download and then when you click a download it's going to direct to you straight to the download link so that you can download but to me i only have uh, a Pan panasonic i already download this yeah and I, I love this smooth you see before and after it's huge difference it's give me emulating of uh you know 
of our pictures. So right here we have a different uh, film print. I already told you what a film print. But first I'm going to take down the grains because it's going to give a little bit of a grains here. So I'm going to choose what uh, film print that I love. Okay, I'm going to looking for the nice one. Um, I think this one is nice. This one and this. I love Fuji Pro of 10 hundreds. It's very nice and good. So after this, the next thing that I'm going to do is color uh, correction. So in here. I'm going to draw, I'm going to use the lumetric color. This is our second step, and then we're going to uh, we're going to fix our white balance, as you can see before and after, because we we've got uh, a little bit of a red, uh, yellows and uh, green to our mid our to to our our image. So that's why uh, we use uh temperature and I, I just use automatically to fix it automatically according to the pictures where lumetric color sees this need to be like this so, so what rheumatic color did is just reduce 8.5 negative to our temperature from a warm part to cold parts and uh, boosting a little bit of magenta to our car. So right here, what I'm going to do is fix little bit of correcting. So I'm going to construct this image a bit to have a more construct to our image and then reduce little bit of a highlight and sh make it shadow and have an I'll use a little bit of a white to make our image uh, standing. And then I'm going to boost my saturation to 1 and, a, uh, one and 20. All right. I think this is looking nice. I love this. This is before and this is after. So the next step that we're going to do is just... Uh, we're going to snap our image so that we're going to uh, to drag our image into um, light glitter to, to make a look. So here we're going to make a look, a color grade, because we did already corrections and sounds dope and good. So now we're going to make a look. Okay, in light glitter, so what I'm going to write, um, let me write um film color 3d light file all right we're going to click ok and then we're going to import our image right to film uh what uh light creator i used this process very long time ago in here we're going to auto temperature as you can see uh it's also automatic temperature because i see it's too much cold and no too much warm so that's why i reduce a temperature bit so in here what the first thing that i'm going to do is playing with this web i'm going to switch up to 16 so I'm going to fix correction here. A lot of people love orange in tears. So what I'm going to do is switching my green to be more greenish. To have more green vibe to my image. So I'm going to switch this to be very greenish. But not too much. As you can see, we got a little bit of a creeping here. So we have to do a bit not too much. Okay, another thing that I'm going to do is just uh, we have to switch blue to be bluish 
so i'm going to place this guy and boost the color tone and then you bring it to the tear and this tear i'm going to make it all over here to make to to make it sound very tear you know the bluish because the cinematic we don't have a blue we have a bluish tone to the cinematic as you can see this is before and this is after and then about magenta i'm going to reduce it a bit so that uh where well whatever we whatever we see a magenta color is going to be there but not too much because i only want two color to pop in my image the blush and uh and uh orange also with the greenish but the green must be also down because i don't want to see it to pop in so that's our, our skin tone can pop in there as you can see before and after it's a huge change all right the next thing i'm going to channel and then he playing with my my knob here i'm going to put this no I'm going to switch where I can see my my image looking nice as you can see until I see my image looking that nice my skin tone is very 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 bad so yeah I think yeah it's good all right let me boost my skin tone all right you can do it but not too much make sure your image looking very natural i think yeah it's good let me check before after and one one thing that i want to tell you whenever you do something please make sure you do before and after before and after every time so that you can learn and see what's a different that you made because if you don't do that sometimes you can't see stuff and you keep on doing so you just do it too much so please make sure you you back and forth you know all right this is for lumin lumin lumis luminous lum eh? sorry this is uh just uh to make it you know to make a dynamic separations right uh, here about my skin tone I'm going to boost it yeah make sure your skin tone has nice color I think here is looking nice this is before this is after skin tone all right this is good okay next thing is rear let me write uh, nine no 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 it doesn't look good let me put it back okay no 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 yeah okay here is just uh i want to make it orange in here to have more orange in t-tone Yeah, looking good. Not too much. A small, but yeah. As you can see, this is before. This is after. This is before. This is after. You see, a big difference. All right, so we're going to the curve because we have a little bit of uh, you know, 
a little bit of uh, dust in the image so that's why we need to to fix it so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a curve and then reduce here a little bit to make our uh our color to be to to make our color get into our image uh i love uh what we call a chocolate color to the shadows so i'm going to reduce a little bit of a green and a blush to the shadow and leave the and leave the reddish color there is so that our uh, image can you know we have a uh, chocolate too as i told you okay in here saturation if you saturation so i want our blacks to be black and sorry uh what is this oh sorry did that make a bit a mistake Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. I want our blacks to be black and shadows to be shadows, you know. Not a black to be blue, sure what. So I'm going to reduce this a bit and white here. Yeah? You see? Not too much because whenever you do too much, we're going to lose something. All right, this one's good. Uh, yeah, I don't have nothing. So here I already did my lid. So we're going to bring it back to Adobe Premiere. So what we're going to do is just click this button, save 3D LUT, and then we're going to save as a cube to our desktop. Boom, already saved. And then we're going to insert our LUT in here. Boom, uh, looking very, very, very nice. All right. Um, because I, I want it to look a little bit of a natural, so I'm going to reduce intensity. Yeah, so everything is going to be very awesome and good. This is before, this is after. Don't forget to save everything that you do. All right. In here, I'm going to adjust a bit. Um, vibrance. I'm going to adjust a little bit to make it very natural. And then I'm going to the uh curves and see what i can do here to make a very a uh, more fixing so in here what i can do here is uh just for our skin tone i'm going to reduce it a bit to take down the reddish that we have into our skin tone this is before this is after we have a lot of a reddish color to our skin tone that's why i'm going to reduce a bit not that too much i'm going to boost my skin tone here yeah it's looking good and then i'm going to um make my green be I'm going to make my green more greenish. You know, fix some stuff to make it sounds very dope and good. To make my blue to be a tear, not too much, just a bit of a fixing. <coughs> Sorry. And then I'm going to reduce our saturation to our background, you know, to make my skin tone popping. So I'm going to reduce the saturation here to our background. 
uh yeah looking good also in luma i'm going to reduce to make it you know darker a bit not that much because we can see a little bit of a clipping in there so i'm going to do a bit all right let's see before and after you can't see the huge change the change is there but not that too much okay our next thing that we go do is in hsl this is for skin tone and uh, let's see if it's necessary i'm going to click my skin tone uh, looking where i can find my skin we already have a nice skin tone but we're going to do a little bit of a popping there you know Fortunately, we have a good and nice skin tone. I only want the skin. So I'm going to reduce this up to the skin. Yeah, this is nice. We already have something, so we have, we have to fix a bit boosting uh, a skin tone a little bit to the orange and make it brighter uh, also to the shadow of a skin tone and make it a bit darker wow it's nice and good this is before this is after I love it. This is our second step and third one because we already did the third step for 3D Lats Creators. As you can see, before creative, you see, after creative, and this is before everything, this is after everything, and no, this is before Lumetric, and this is before everything, and this is after everything. It's a huge step and nice and looking very dope. Okay. The last step that we're going to do is we're going to use a Magic Bullet, and we're going to use a Color Restar. This is going to be our second correction. I love using this plug because it's make my image really nice and top so the things that i like to do in here reduce a bit of a shadows so that our image will look very nice and very clean i love to doing this to clean my image and boost a bit of a mid-tone is our image is going to be you know yeah it's going to be very lightful and another thing that i love here is highlight recover so this stuff all these things help me to to re recover my highlight but not that too much so we, we're going to be to do a bit but in this image i want my image to be very brighter to be you know when someone sees it's going to be wow what did they what did they use uh, which which camera is this you know have a lot of uh, questions for yourself all right another thing that i love using here it's pop it's helped to make my video very popping you know my video is it's just popping it's everybody see everything it's give a detail to my image and last thing is this vignette i love a vignette from color list you know it's just to make a vitamin to my image so this is the this is my technique for color grading and color correction as you can see before and after you see the image is looking very nice and good as you can see it's very perfect and the last thing that i love to use is cosmo i use 
cost more to make a smooth for my skin tone but but i'm i'm not going to use it now because uh you know some my 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 cpu will be you know little bit of a uh, image so let's let's watch up before and after the whole process before we sign out what we just did to our image from scratch from the starting point so the first thing that i did is film conversion from my image the flat to be uh, emulating look and also it's a flat but it's have film look and then we just did lumetri color for our color correction and then we had a color grade and then we had looking a bit of a you know adjustment and then we had a secondary correction this is for skin tone and then we have uh, also the second correction for you know correcting the image thanks very much this is a Kim I hope you got something you learn something you you see something and you know you have got something in your mind and this is the way I have been doing all time the time I was using uh, Adobe Premiere but now I'm in DaVinci Pro and I already show you a different videos that I, I used to do in Adobe Premiere Pro no I'm in DaVinci Pro as you can see this is uh, the image that I, I did on um, this is this image already grading to the official video it's already out it's a song called Nana. it's acoustic and the video is there I already did and shot it and color and i used uh davinci resolve and yeah fortunately i i exported the lot in there let me show you the lot that i did the lot that i did correction uh director kim nana okay this is what i graded in davinci resolve and then i what i did next is just i reduce um i reduce uh yeah this one yeah whenever i boost it it's 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 not going to sound good so i i just reduce my yeah, and this is where it's looking DaVinci. I just color grade this image through DaVinci Resolve. And this is DaVinci Look. And this is Premiere Pro Look. So you're going to choose which one's better for you. You know, this is DaVinci. This is Premiere Pro. The process that we did together. And this is DaVinci Look. Already colored in DaVinci. As you can see the different there in DaVinci and Adobe Premiere so you got to choose which one is better for you thanks very much for watching this video again don't forget to subscribe and like and comment share and do whatever that you see it's better for other people to see me i'm signing out see you next time